Hello and welcome to another crisp HP tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be talking to you about automation. Now automation is where you automatically control some variables and parameters. For example you can control the volume, the panning from left to right, you can control muting the track and so even the EQ can actually control the frequency, the gain, or things like that with automation. So in this, I'm going to use my string track for the automation. And I'm going to bring it in around 4. So bar 3, it will stop the automation and play as it would normally. So I'm going to fade it in slowly. So to enable automation, you're going to want to hit the right enable button. Now this automatically enables the read button because Cubase goes thinks to itself, okay, I may as well read whatever the person's writing. That's why he's writing it, so I have to read it. You can disable write enable, and it will still read it fine. And if you disable read, it won't read the automation that you've written. So, to get all of your automation tracks, you just hit the down arrow that's underneath the track type. So we have the volume, which is what comes up default. You can click further down to get more. For example, mute, input gain, and the linked panner. And you can keep going on for like EQ and stuff. But we're going to stick with volume. So, like I said, I'm going to bring it in and it's going to stop at bar, th bar 3. So, just before bar 4. So, we put I put this point in first. I put the last point in first. We don't have to mess up anything later on. Now, there's two ways you can actually do this. You can do it the simple way and just drag that down. So, we got a simple, basic fade there. And this is what it sounds like. If I just, yeah, that'll be fine. So you can hear the strings are slowly fading in. Now if you watch my cursor and look at this box here, you can see the the parameter actually increasing. Until it settles on 427. So, now that is a simple, basic way of doing automation. There is another way, and that's by using, clicking on the line tool, the draw tool, and it's called thing Parabola. Now what that enables you to do is create this sweeping effect, sweeping um, automation line. And this sounds good as well, what it does is it gradually brings it up and it starts getting faster near the top. But not everyone wants that. right? Now I'm going to show you the manual way of doing something like that. Right, so we're going to drag this down. Now we're going to set this to 32. Now this is what I like to do with things like this. It's just to curve them slightly. So now we have a curve and it actually starts, and it's not a very good curve, but it slowly comes in, and then at bar 3 it quickly shoots up to the top. Now that has some effect to it. Excuse me while I drink my water. There. 
Right, now you can do the opposite of this and basically it will come in quickly and slowly fade to the final. Now, I use automation for pretty much everything in my track and the really cool thing is, is where you have at the end of the song let's go to the end of the song so around, well this isn't the end, it's the end of the chorus that I'm working on so the end for me would be these four bars here That guitar is a bit loud. So as it comes, uh, I'm just going to pretend like this is the end. So what you do is you go to your input and output. Now if you don't have this, the trick I use is to go into the mixer, F3, or click on this button here. And then hit the right automation button in the mixer for the stereo out. Now what that does is it puts this into your um, track window so you can add automation to it. So go to the fourth bar of this and enable the right. I'm just going to use a simple parabola and bring it out there. So. <laughs> So there, it faded out. Now, I normally use a fade when I do it, like this. There is one problem with me doing this. Oh dear. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to add a curve now. So there's my curve and let's listen to how this sounds. Now that does sound like most pop songs or stuff end. So I'm just going to disable this because it's on the stereo out. Right, so thank you for watching this tutorial and I do hope you've learnt something in this tutorial. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, the things I do on this tutorial series that are in this project are the things I am doing to finish this song, by the way. So the tutorials come as I find I have to do something that I think is beneficial to you. So thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one.